In this video, ididiscuss lang natin yung mga proof ng dalawang mahalagang theorem about subsequence. So, let's start with monotone subsequence theorem. Every sequence of real numbers has monotone subsequence. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa proof ng monotone subsequence theorem, so, ididiscuss ko muna sa inyo yung tinatawag nating peak sa term ng sequences. Okay. So, the term A sub M, let's say A sub M, is a peak. Take note ha yung word na yan. If A sub M is greater than or equal to A sub N for all N such that N is greater than or equal to M. Okay? So, yung... Sinasabi ng statement na to, as n uh, proceeds or yung subscript nagpo-proceeds or yung mga sumusunod na terms yung parang gusto niyang sabihin, wala tayong makikita na term na mas mataas dito sa ating a sub m. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple yung pick. So, for example, meron tayong sequence na 1, negative 1, 1 half, negative 1 half, 1 third, negative 1 third, and so on. So, ang mga peak natin dyan ay 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 uh, fourth, and so on, 1 over n, and so on. Yan yung mga peaks natin dyan sa ating sequence. Bakit? Okay? So, halimbawa, dito tayo sa 1. Ah, dito. Kung titignan na natin yung mga susunod na terms niya, wala tayong makikita dyan na mas mataas sa 1. Okay? Kaya natin nasabi na pick itong 1. So, dito naman tayo sa 1 half. Okay? Same, same reason sa 1 half. Kung titignan natin yung mga susunod na term sa kanya, not including ito ah, ang tinutukoy dito yung mga susunod na term. Okay? Kasi yun nga yung sasabi ko sa as n greater than or equal to m. Oh. So, yun. Sa mga susunod na term sa kanya, walang mas mataas sa 1 half. Kaya masasabi natin na ang 1 half natin ay pick din. Same reason with one third, one fourth, and so on. Okay. Now, how about negative one? A negative one is not a peak, since as you can see, kait dito na lang tayo sa one half. Merong kasunod na term which is one half na mas mataas sa negative one. Okay. Kaya hindi siya peak. So, ganun yung pick. Ang tinitignan natin yung mga kasunod na terms sa kanya hanggang dun sa dulo. Kung merong mas mataas sa kanya, hindi siya pick. Pero kapag wala tayong makita na mas mataas sa kanya, sa so masasabi natin na yung term na yon ay pick. Okay? So, note, kapag increasing sequence, okay? So, kapag increasing sequence, wala tayong makikitang term doon na masasabi nating peak. Okay? So, halimbawa, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4. So, increasing sequence yan. Okay? Dito kasi sa number 1, kita kagad natin na may mas mataas sa kanya yung 2. Same dito, may mas mataas sa kanya, 3, and so on. So, imposible makakita tayo ng increasing sequence kasi nga, increasing yung mga susunod na term mas mataas sa naunang term. Okay? Then, kapag naman decreasing sequence, Decreasing sequence, every term is a peak. Kasi nga, decreasing yan. Okay? Pababa. So, ibig sabihin, yung naunang term, mas mataas sa lahat ng mga susunod na term. Okay? Kasi decreasing. Now, bakit ko diniscuss yung word na to, na peak? Kasi gagamitin natin yung idea ng peak doon sa proof ng ating monotone subsequence theorem. Okay, so let's proceed to our proof of monotone subsequence theorem. Pero review nga muna uli natin yung sinasabi ng theorem na to. So sabi daw, lahat daw ng sequence of real numbers merong monotone subsequence. Again, pag sinabing monotone, it's either increasing or decreasing. Okay, so i-prove natin yan. Gagamitin natin yung idea ng peak doon sa ating proof yung diniscuss natin kanina. Okay. So, for our proof, let 
the sequence a sub n be a sequence of real numbers. So, dito meron tayong dalawang cases. Yung unang case, yung sequence natin ay may infinitely many peaks. Okay? Tapos, yung ikalawang case natin dito, yung sequence natin ay meron lang finite number of peaks. That includes those sequence na walang peak. Okay? So, doon muna tayo sa case 1. So, for case 1, suppose yung ating a sub n has infinitely many peaks. Okay, so ibig sabihin, let a sub n sub 1, a sub n sub 2, a sub n sub 3, and so on, a sub n sub k, and so on, kasi nga infinitely many peaks ang meron dyan, be the least of all peaks of a sub n. Okay? So, since bawat isa sa kanila ay peak, so, since each term is a peak, then, we have a sub n sub 1 greater than or equal to a sub n sub 2 greater than or equal to a sub n sub 3 greater than or equal to greater than or equal to a sub n sub k, greater than or equal to, and so on. Okay? Kasi nga, bawat isa sa kanila, ay, sa kanila ay peak. So, ibig sabihin, dito sa a sub n sub 1, wala tayong makikita na susunod na term sa kanya na mas mataas sa kanya. Kaya nga, a sub n sub 1, greater than or equal to a sub n sub 2. Same idea with a sub n sub 2, greater than or equal to a sub n sub 3, and so on. Okay? And as you can see, nakabuo tayo dito ng subsequence. Okay? So, hence, the subsequence sequence a sub n sub k of peaks is a decreasing sequence. So, nakabuo tayo dito ng decreasing sequence which is yung a sub n sub k of peaks. Okay? So, decreasing siya kasi pababa siya. Wala naman tayo makikita na biglang may mas mataas sa kanya kasi nga bawat isa sa kanila ay peak. So, ibig sabihin, decreasing yan. Okay? So, uh, kapag, ibig sabihin nito kapag meron tayong sequence A sub N with infinitely many peaks, nakakapag, uh, nakakakuha tayo dun ng subsequence, monotone subsequence, which is decreasing subsequence. Okay? Which is yung subsequence na yon ay yung A sub N sub K of peaks. Okay? So, clear tayo doon sa infinitely many peaks. Punta tayo doon sa case number 2. So, for case 2, suppose yung sequence naman natin has finitely many, uh, many peaks. Okay? So, ito naman finite. Dapat makapag-produce din tayo ng monotone subsequence. So, let a sub m sub 1, a sub m sub 2, and so on up to a sub m sub r. Kasi finite siya. So hanggang a sub m sub r lang. B, the least of all peaks in a sub n. Okay? So iset natin, set s sub 1 be equal to m sub r plus 1 yung kasunod ng m sub r dito be the first index after the last peak in the sequence okay so ito yun ha Kung ang dulo natin, yung last peak natin, may index na m sub r. So, iset natin yung s sub 1 to be m sub r plus 1. Yung kasunod na, uh, yung unang index na kasunod dito sa ating peak. Sa huling peak natin. Okay? In the last sequence, uh, a sub n. Then, yung a sub s sub 1 is not 
a pick. Okay, sir, paano ka nakasiguro, nakakasiguro? Kasi nga, ito yung list ng lahat ng picks na meron si A sub N. Okay, so ibig sabihin, itong A sub S sub 1, hindi na siya pick. Kasi kung pick siya, dapat nandito siya. Okay? So, kung hindi siya pick, may mag-e-exist, may mag-e-exist, let's say, S sub 2, index S sub 2, which is greater than S sub 1, according sa definition ng pick. Okay? Kung hindi siya pick, hindi niya masasatisfy yung definition ng pick. At may makikita tayong sub, uh, index S sub 2, which is yung A sub S sub 1 ay less than A sub S sub 2. Kasi nga hindi siya pick. Okay? And since yung A sub S sub 2 is again not a pick, so paano ka naman nakasiguro na hindi rin pick ito? Okay? Kasi ang pinag-uusapan na natin dito ay yung mga kasunod ng subscript na ng M sub R. Okay? Yung kasunod na index, M sub R plus 1, tapos yung S sub 2, kasunod yan. Let's say, sabihin natin hindi siya M sub R plus 1 kasi hindi tayo sure kung ano itsura ng sequence. Pero yan yung kasunod. Okay? Yung A sub S sub 2. So, ibig sabihin, hindi rin siya pick. Hindi siya kasama dito. Okay? Then, kung hindi nga siya pick, may mag exist din na another index, say S sub 3, greater than S sub 2, such that A sub S sub 2 is less than A sub S sub 3. Okay? At kung itutuloy nyo yung, processes na, uh, yung process na yan, so continuing this way, or this process, we will obtain an increasing sequence. Increasing subsequence. Subsequence A sub S sub K of A sub N. Okay? So, paano tayo nakakasiguro na increasing subsequence? Kasi nga, yung A sub 1, A sub S sub 1, mas mababa kay A sub S sub 2, tapos yung A sub S sub 2, mas mababa kay A sub S sub 3, and so on. No? So, nakapag-produce tayo ng another monotone subsequence which is increasing subsequence if ang given natin na sequence has finitely many peaks. Okay? So, in any case, kung ang ating sequence of real numbers ay may infinitely many peaks or kung ang sequence na yan ay may finitely many peaks, nakakapag-produce tayo ng monotone sequence, either decreasing sequence or increasing sequence. Okay, so therefore, eto na yung ating proof para dun sa monotone subsequence theorem. So we are done. Okay, so proceed tayo sa another theorem. Okay, so let's prove another important theorem of subsequence. We have Bolzano wire truss theorem. So according to this theorem, every bounded infinite sequence has a convergent subsequence. So, proceed na ta kagad tayo sa proof. So, ito yung magiging hypothesis natin. Magbibigay tayo ng bounded infinite sequence and then, dapat may mapakita tayo na, na subsequence niya which is convergent. Okay? So, let's have a proof. So, let A sub N be any bounded sequence of real numbers. Okay? So, dapat makapagpakita tayo ng convergent subsequence ng ating A sub N. Okay? So, gamitin natin yung theorem na prinove natin kanina, yung monotone subsequence theorem. So, by monotone subsequence theorem, so, ano ba yung sinasabi niyan? Ang sabi di ba ng monotone subsequence theorem, lahat daw ng sequence may monotone subsequence. So, ibig sabihin, kung ito ay yung sequence natin, may mag exist na subsequence which is monotone. So, there exists a subsequence, let's say, a sub n sub k of a sub n which is monotone. Okay? And then, since yung A sub N natin 
So, since yung A sub N is bounded, so, sigurado tayo na itong A sub N sub K, which is yung subsequence niya, bounded din. Okay? Kasi subsequence lang naman to. So, it follows that its subsequence A sub N sub K is also bounded. Okay? So, dito, magagamit na natin yung monotone convergence theorem, kung maaalala nyo pa. ba diba sabi ni monotone convergence theorem, kapag meron daw tayong monotone sequence, which is bounded, ibig sabihin, yung sequence na yun, automatic convergent. Okay? ba diba yun yung sinasabi ng ating monotone convergence theorem. And as you can see, yung subsequence natin na A sub N sub K ay monotone, and bounded. Okay? So, kung monotone na siya, tapos bounded siya, by monotone convergence theorem, monotone convergence theorem, so, we can say that yung subsequence A sub N sub K of A sub N is convergent. Okay? So, yan. Nakapag-produce na tayo ng convergent subsequence for any bounded sequence of real numbers A sub N. Okay? So, we are done. Okay? So, ganito lang kasimple yung proof ng Berzano-Wire-Truss theorem.